for the next one. Okay, methane. So methane is CH4. Um, we got to break this all apart hypothetically and add up, well, how many do we get to build this thing with? So I've got one carbon and I've got hydrogen, but I've got four hydrogens. I've got four hydrogens and only one carbon. So I come down here and I find carbon. Carbon is right there, which is one, two, three, four. So it's got four valence electrons. Hydrogen's right here in group one. It only has one valence electron. So I take four times one, and this is going to give me four electrons. I'm just going to move this guy over here, four electrons. And if I add these up, four plus four gives me eight electrons, eight E negative electrons, to build my methane structure. All right? So I've done number one. Let's go to number two. Number two says... I need to build the skeleton structure with the bonds. Okay, The element that's the least abundant is going to be in the middle and the one with the lowest electronegativity. Now you can look the electronegativity up on a periodic table um, and the thing is hydrogen has a low electronegativity but hydrogen can only bond with one other thing because it only wants to have two valence electrons. Carbon can bond with four. So hydrogen is never going to be our center structure. We're going to go with carbon or the center of our structure. So we've got carbon. Again, we've got four hydrogens. Let's draw these in. So we've drawn in our hydrogens. And let's see how many electrons um, for number three here we can add around the outside edge. So I've used two, four, six, eight to make my bonds. And I can only use eight electrons total. Now, let me go back a little bit and show you how this all works out. So, we've got carbon in the middle. And we know that carbon has one, two, three, four valence electrons. We've got four hydrogens. So hydrogen can bring one here. This hydrogen can bring one here. This hydrogen can bring one here. This hydrogen can bring one here. Now, when those bond together, that's why that bond represents two electrons between them being shared. I can use eight electrons. I've used two, four, six, eight electrons. So I can't use any more electrons. Um, I don't have a formal charge and I don't have any resonance structures. I don't need to worry about those. Again, you'll know what those are in just a little bit. Now I need to check my answer. The way I check my answer is I count up how many valence electrons does everything have around it. This hydrogen right here has two valence electrons, so it's happy. This hydrogen has two valence electrons, so it's happy. This one has two, so it's happy, and this one has two. Now carbon um, would like to have eight. So remember it's sharing. It's got two from this bond, two from this one, two from this one, and two from this bond, which means it has eight electrons around it, and everybody's happy. So this is the structure of methane.